The other big market for force at work today is a stock market phenomenon that takes place around this time practically every year. It doesn't last long, but some sectors typically make notable moves. Bob Pisani explains. History tells us investors might want to brace for a seasonal dip ahead. It's a well-known phenomenon. April usually begins with a flat to slightly down market for the first two weeks. Now, the usual explanation is that investors withdraw money to pay taxes. The good news is that the market tends to rebound immediately in the two weeks after tax day, which falls on April 18th this year, with several sectors showing notable gains. Analysis shows that since 2000, the S&P 500 has been down an average of 0.2% in the first two weeks of April, up only 41% of the time. Two weeks after tax day, the S&P is up 2% on average, rising 75% of the time. That's significant for a two-week period. A few sectors are worth noting in particular. Technology, financials, industrials, and energy all tend to trade flat to down in the two weeks leading up to tax day and jump about 2% in the two weeks after tax day. Oddly, this trade doesn't work with larger defensive sectors like healthcare and consumer staples. What's going on? Well, besides the tax factor, earnings season may also play a role here. Earnings season begins right around April 15th. Banks and industrials are among the first to report in those two weeks in the back half of April, so it's possible reactions to earnings could also be a factor. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.